Hey guys, my name is Xiao Tian. You also can call my English name Trinity. I'm 24 years old from Wuhan, China. Olá pessoal, tudo bem? Meu nome é Denilson Bob Schuller. Tenho 21 anos e sou brasileiro. Ja, servus, mein Name ist Josh Armstrong. Ich lebe in Wien, Österreich. Okay. Uh, ja, mein Name ist Luca Hastel, ich komme aus Wien. Hi, my name is Katie Patterson. I'm 15 years old and I'm from Buffalo, New York. Hello, my name is Kapenda and I am 25 years old. I come from Windhoek City in Namibia. So, how I've been affected by the coronavirus career-wise is that I make quite a bit of my living doing local tour guiding here in the country. And so one can imagine that I've incurred a loss of income in that regard due to the worldwide travel ban that we're experiencing at the moment. Also, ich bin Zivildiener seit August um, und habe so wie sind, auch die Rettungsausbildung dann gemacht zum Rettungssanitäter. Uh, und sobald es mit Coronavirus eben losging, war es eine sehr stressige Zeit bei der Rettung. I want to use two words to describe my feeling. The first one is discrimination. The second one is anxiety. There's also a lot of mental problems, you know, when you're home, when you have nothing that you really have to be doing, nowhere to distract you. That doesn't really help your mental health. It, it kind of drains it, it exhausts you. So that's definitely one of the most major things. A lot of Chinese people who will look down upon Wuhan citizen and I have suffered that even when I was in Australia I met some Chinese people and I have to hide that I'm not from Wuhan because that's so dangerous they were afraid of me you know lots of foreigners will tease Chinese people there have a lot of racial discrimination issue I think so please be kind and it can be really hurt for those kind of discrimination the second one is anxiety because you know all my relatives my parents grandpa and also most of my friends are in that city i'm so worried about them spanish flu is now from spain and i don't really think this virus is Chinese virus. The digital age has saved us all. I keep in touch with my friends via social networking sites like Instagram, Zoom, WhatsApp, Twitter, Facebook, Skype, and so on. If we don't use VPN, we can't use Facebook or Instagram, but we have our own applications that is also really convenient for we guys to connect with each other. And so there is no better time to have had this occur than today and in this day and age. Porque a pandemia mostrou uma coisa pro pro, pro meu país, pro Brasil. Existe uma desigualdade muito grande no Brasil, e isso não é só agora, isso vem de anos, desde a época da escravidão. Nós temos uma desigualdade muito grande no nosso país. E, infelizmente, nosso governo não está ajudando muito. Eu espero que as pessoas se fizeram um pouco mais gedanken sobre a saúde. Mas eu não posso me imaginar, eu acho que se a coronavírus bewältigt it is on each and every single one of us to actually keep going with the good habits that we have created throughout this time so that this wasn't in vain. Many people have come closer as a result of the virus and I think that if this goes and continues beyond the virus that we are looking at a more harmonious and connected world and it all comes from realizing our common humanity nós que isso é uma mensagem no caso para os jovens brasileiros nós que vamos estar como futuros ministros futuros presidentes uh, futuras pessoas cuidando da nossa sociedade então nós temos que ter consciência de se ajudar ajudar quem mais precisa i feel like life is so short and you are alive and 
just be grateful and from now on enjoy your life because you don't know what will happen tomorrow so just cherish your time and cherish everything thank you guys bye